Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy. All praise unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Wahara, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Okay, the mark of the beast is the RFID cheap chip. And you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are the Israelites, okay, that the Bible speaks of. So this is, um, I suppose this is the flavor of the week. And um, I'm going to do a video on it, just a quick one. I don't want like getting into these kind of topics too, too much because um, it's, you know, it's a bit out there, you know, the, the, you know, following the media and that. But he said something that was, um, that was a video worthy, I suppose. And, you know, brothers have done videos on it. And this is the um, uh, statement that Kanye West made uh, regarding our uh, slavery. Okay, and someone did a, 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 a fancy image of him here, which I put as the um, as the um, probably the video avatar. Okay, so um, this is the statement that he made. Okay, he said um, you know slavery, uh, you know uh, let me switch this off. Okay, he said um, slavery uh, was a choice because it lasted for a certain amount of time, but when you go into the scriptures. You find out that it wasn't a choice. You find out it was ordained by Yahabah Shimei Shai, okay, whom the world calls God and Jesus as a punishment unto the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans for the iniquity that they had committed against Yahabah Shimei Shai. Okay, so, you know, that's, that's the premise. So I'm going to go into the scriptures now. Okay, the job is done in terms of the outside material. Now we're going to the Bible. Okay, so the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and I'm not sure if people done, you know, I, I saw videos going up, but I'm sure, um, I'm sure brothers have done similar sort of videos, um, with regards to this topic and gone basically into the same scriptures. I don't know. Okay. But if this video feels like somebody else had done a similar video, then I apologize for that. Um, but I'm just going in, you know, using the material and going in the spirit. It says, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 60, uh, 63rd verse. And it says, it shall come to pass, okay, that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, okay, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and bring you to naught, and ye shall be plucked from off the land that thou goest to possess it. So when this law was being given out, we was going into the land uh, that was initially given to the Canaanites. You read the book of Wisdom of Solomon, you find out them Canaanites were committed all kind of wickedness in the land of land that you know as Israel right now. And them Canaanites were kicked out, okay, by, by the walls that Joshua, okay, and um and his um and, and and the Israelites fought against them Canaanites and they was driven out of that land. And um we went into that land and inhabited that land. Okay. That was the um that was you know that was a blessing. The more I set it up, that we was going to be multiplied, we was going to have children, lots of children, our fruit was going to be, you know, our, our um, um, cattle was going to increase. Okay, everything that you call money within this society ain't really money. Okay, when you're talking about goats, sheep, okay, uh, uh, cows, that's real money, that's real wealth. And the Lord multiplied that uh, unto us when we was in the land of Israel, when we was doing, okay, right by the Lord's statutes and commandments that he had set up. Okay, it says, and, and, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced, so we read that, so the 64th verse and says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among uh, all people. So when we say the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, we're talking about a, 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 a portion of the scattering that's easily identifiable as the Israelites. But it goes deeper than that because the scripture says here, the Lord was going to scatter us amidst all the nations. So when we was taken into captivity underneath the Babylonians, there was a certain, a certain amount of interbreeding that had happened, which led to um, certain Israelites losing their pigmentation, okay, over generation. So you got generations worth of Israelites out there that look like, you know, uh, Indians, that look like Chinese, that look like oh, Bruce Lee, he looked like a Moabite, which is a Chinese, okay, but he was really an Israelite. Okay, you got uh, uh, Tom Jones who really looks like a white boy, but he really is an Israelite. You can tell by their spirit. Okay, so that was part of the cursing that happened. Okay, but moving further and towards the point, uh, which is the slavery, um, from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there you shall serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And amongst these nations that was going to find no ease. So when the Messiah ordains a particular judgment to go out there on a person, which was slavery, 
whether it's a day, two days, a hundred years, two hundred years, or to the point of this video, four hundred years, there ain't no way you're gonna, you know, go around that. Okay, you're just gonna have to go through that. And that's what happened to the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. They had to go through that, that they had to drink off that cup of, 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 of slavery. Okay, there was no way you was going to get around that. That's why, and we're going to read it within the 68th verse, how that uh, uh, um, the Lord wasn't going to say send you a, a, a deliverer. Okay, you was going to be in slavery, but the Lord wasn't going to send you a deliverer. Okay, and you was going to have to take that slavery. Okay, so it says that, uh, um, Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee uh, a trembling heart, okay, a failing of eyes and sorrow of mind, and the life shall hang in doubt before thee. All right, so you walk down the street and you don't know if you're going to make it back home. Okay, you don't know if you're going to make your bills. Okay, you don't know if, uh, 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 if, 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 if you know, your auntie is going to beat that cancer. Okay, so your life was going to hang, hang in doubt before thee. It says, and thou shalt have no assurance uh, um, uh, 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 of that life. And in the morning that would uh, say, with the more sight it was evening. So you was going to wake up and think, man, shit, I can't, you know, I can't go through this day. And we get into the night time, it says when it, when it were evening, you would wish that it was the morning. So you might have an evening shift, <laughs> you know? So it wasn't going to be a pleasant pleasant thing, uh, the judgment that the Lord was going to give, up, give upon us. But what these guys tried to do, they tried to make it as though what happened was some carnal, you know, uh, 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 thing that happened within the earth. And that's just not true. What happened was a, a spiritual event where the Moorside took a group of people, the Israelites, and put them into slavery because they didn't follow his commandments. It was a, it was a specific attack on a specific group of people, okay? This ain't some random event that just happened and you was going to be able to just work your way out of it. This was a spiritually uh, orchestrated event within the history. And that spiritually orchestrated event within the history, okay, was going was was going to be uh, um was going to come uh, was going to last a certain amount of time, okay, up until the time when the Lord was going to have World War Three play out. And we're going to read about that within the Book of Joel, okay. So it says, um, uh, where are we at? So uh, let's go to the uh, 68th verse. So this is this this is this is the bit, okay. So this is this is the point. So it says, the Lord shall bring thee back in, put bring thee into Egypt, which means um. Uh, uh, slavery, okay, and you can read about that within the book of Revelations, the 11 and 8. And oh, that's going to go into the uh, 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 um, uh, 350 years, which is about 400 years, okay. In, again, with ships, by the way, off, I speak unto thee, and I shall see it no more. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, which was what? Which is slavery, man, okay. And let's see how what duration of time that was going to be. So we're reading out the Bible here, okay, and we're finding that within the Bible. A group of people was gonna go into into, uh, into a spiritually Sodom and spiritually Egypt place, okay? And these guys was gonna be there, and they was gonna be there for a period of about three hundred and fifty years. It's like I mean, a period of, of four hundred years. But we we really in captivity now. But when it says here, there was gonna be uh, um, it was gonna, their dead bodies was gonna lie in the great uh, in, in, in the streets. You go to the book of Ezekiel, okay? Which I might get this when I get out there to the camp, okay? You go into the book of Ezekiel, you find out Jake was in a dead sleep state. They didn't know they was Israelites, okay? You had it to where the so-called white man basically deprived us of our book, which goes back onto the curses that we, we read a, a second ago. He deprived us of the um the Holy Scriptures, okay? Because when you open up the Holy Scriptures and you look at the so-called Jews out there within the land of Israel right now, you're like, man, something don't add up here, okay? I thought the, the people of the Lord were supposed to be above all people upon the face of the earth. These damn Jews... These so-called Jews out there within the land of Israel right now, they ain't, that's not, that's, that can't be the people of the Lord, man. They don't bring about peace upon the earth. They bring about nothing but death, okay? Uh, Revelation is 11 and 8, and it says, And their dead body shall lie down in the great street of the city, okay? That great city, okay, which is America, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, wherein our Lord was crucified, okay? The name of the Lord was taken out, okay? We was deprived of the scriptures. If you was caught reading the Bible during times of slavery, you was put to death, I wonder why, okay? I wonder why, okay? Because that's your book. I mean, you got to think about these things. If you're out there and you go to slavery and they're feeding you, force feeding you pork, okay? They're force feeding you uh, 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 things when you go into the scriptures and it says it's abominable and you find out uh, 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 there was, when you go listen to the music that they push, because the so-called Jews run the music industry within the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans neighborhood, Okay? 
when you find out that the music that they're pushing, the, the vibration it puts is adultery, okay, covetousness, you find out that's all against the scriptures, man, you got to come, you got to open your eyes out and say, hold on a minute, this is all laws that we had within our scriptures, okay, and they're actively pushing against us. So, 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 so if they're pushing up against a vibration that's against our nature, then what is our nature? Okay, which it goes back onto the scriptures, man. Okay, so a ninth verse says, and they are of King Judah and tongues. Okay, and nations shall see their dead bodies three and a half days, which is three hundred and fifty years, and no one shall suffer them to be put in, 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 in graves. And it says, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, and they shall send gifts to one another. Okay, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell upon the earth. And after three and a half days, okay, the spirit of, of the Most sight entered into them and they stood upon their feet. A, a great fear fell upon them, which saw this is what's happening right now. So you got these, uh, you know, individuals like Kanye Pest, okay, sp speaking their, their madness because in their minds, uh, 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 um, in their minds, they're, they're thinking some guy was going to come and, and deliver them out of this captivity. But the fact of the matter is only the Lord was going to deliver you out of this captivity. So when you go back into the uh, book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 68th verse, and we go to the um, uh, the point where the scripture says, um, and no man shall buy you, okay? This is uh, to get, to acquire, to buy, to acquire, to obtain, okay? To redeem, okay? To redeem, that's the, that's the, that's the point. So you wasn't gonna have a savior, a redeemer, okay, come out like Joshua, okay, or come out like uh, 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 um, certain men that had been, you know, Judas Maccabees. There was gonna be, there wasn't gonna be a Judas Maccabees in the time of captivity in the in in America, okay. But the Lord Himself was gonna be the deliverer, okay, in this particular captivity. And we can wrap this up within the book of Ju uh, Jewel, um, okay, the book of Jewel. I believe it's the third chapter I want to go to. Okay, and it will uh, it will put it, put it put it into perspective. So it says, "Behold, uh, uh, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, meaning to say, you was gonna be in captivity for three three four four hundred years. Okay, you're gonna be in there for captivity for a long time. But the Lord was gonna take you out. He, the Lord Himself, not not Judas Maccabees, not Joshua, not Kanye West." Not Marcus Garvey. None of these people is going to take you out of captivity because the Lord has set it up to where you wasn't going to have a deliverer in this time, except for the Lord Himself do it. It says, "For behold, in those days when I sh when at that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead with them there for my people, for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the lands. Okay, the, the nations and part of my lands. Okay, so when you know the end of the slavery was going to come about." When World War Three was being played out, okay. So uh, with that, I'm gonna say, oh praise unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Double honors unto the apostles, the great millstone. Honestly, brothers, to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.